All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and we have the latest and greatest PUBG patch notes right in front of us. This is update 8.2. And what's crazy about this update, at least for me, uh, is that I haven't even played update 8.1 on console yet. Uh, I've actually been away for the past two weeks on vacation. I got married. Uh, so I'm just returning back to the stream and to YouTube. And I came home with a brand new update. Uh, so I was able to play a little bit of 8.1 on the test server. Uh, before it went live but i have not played this update live yet and i've heard there's been some issues and stuff like that uh, but hopefully not so bad and people are still enjoying the new content and all of that stuff uh, so in typical fashion i'm going to go through this whole update this is probably going to be a longer video that's how these tend to be but i like to just chat about everything that's going on in the update uh, so we got we're bringing some new toys to the battlegrounds in update 8.2 April 2 is planned to hit the test server on August 12th as I record this video and as this news was published earlier this morning. It's August 10th today. So this will be on the test server in two days and then we'll be going live on August 19th and that is next Wednesday. And then most likely we'll get this on console probably uh, the following week on the 26th. So towards the end of August for anybody that's curious about that. And then here we have our first new thing getting right into the update. This is a new weapon, which we actually were able to predict. I had a video about this. Uh, thanks to everybody in the stream and shout out to, I think Silky Johnson was the one who actually was the first person to say the MG3. A couple of people had said MG42 out there, uh, but then we did kind of find out through doing some research that it looked like it was the MG3 and it is. Uh, so here you go. And this is kind of a doozy right off the bat because I'm so excited for this weapon and for more LMGs. It's something that I've been wanting in PUBG for, for really forever. Uh, but this is confusing because this is spawning in the care packages. And then we had that whole debacle where the M249 was taken out of the care packages and changed when it didn't really seem like it needed to be. And that created a whole issue. So why go through that whole process when they're just going to put another LMG in the care package? I'm not really sure. They also said the reason why they took the MG40, the um, M249 out was because people weren't picking it up. Uh, and I don't know, there's just a lot of mixed messages. And then I feel like if people weren't picking up, then why are they gonna pick up this? Uh, but it is new and people are usually excited about new stuff. And I will say, disregarding what I just said and in, in the previous information about the, um, the crates, I am excited for new guns entering the game. I'm just a fan of them adding new guns in, and I like that there's a new LMG in the crate. I know it's kind of hypocritical, but I wasn't really part of the people that were that upset, but it was kind of a cluster F, let's just be honest about that. Uh, so this spawns in the care package on all maps in normal matches, not currently available and ranked. Makes sense, seems like what PUBG is gonna be doing now is when they add stuff into the game, they're not gonna add any of this stuff into ranked. They're probably gonna see what people think of it, take player feedback, uh, it seems like PUBG is stepping up how many updates there are things they're putting into the game. And then if it's really good and people enjoy it, they'll probably move it over to ranked at a certain point in time, uh, which I like that that process. The MG3 has two firing modes, which changes the fire rate between 660 uh, RPM and 990 RPM, which is really cool to see this. I don't think we've seen uh, a rate of fire change in a full auto mode, right? Like a faster and a slower full auto. So this is really cool. First of its kind. Hold 7.62 rounds, 75 round magazine. Uh, nothing about any kind of extended uh, mag or anything like that. Then it has 1.25 damage multiplier when shooting vehicles. Uh, we're going to see that they've added a multiplier for all the LMGs uh, damage on vehicles, which is interesting because before I went away, it was uh, the, dam the vehicles were taking more damage and it was harder to blow them up. So this will give the LMGs a purpose, uh, allegedly. And then the tracer rounds are going to be fired every fifth round. And then also is the final 10 bullets of each magazine, letting you know that ammo is running low. The tracer rounds can only be seen by the shooter. So yourself, I uh, won't be able to be seen by anybody else. PUBG has added this in for the M16 and the mutant. And uh, one thing where I found this really helpful is if you're shooting a glider with a mutant now, you can actually see where the bullets are going because they're tracer rounds. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit less than that because it's only every fifth round and then the final 10 bullets. Uh, so it'll be interesting, I guess, when you're shooting, you'll get a little bit of an idea of where those uh, bullets are actually going because it's every fifth round is going to come up pretty quickly. And then just to remind you that you're going to have a big reload time, the final 10 will be trace rounds. So hopefully that will help. Um, sometimes it's not even that noticeable. And then it supports optical attachments all the way up to the six time scope. It's pretty cool. And it has a attached bipod. Uh, automatically deployed when going prone so this will help any kind of uh sprays especially if you're using a bigger scope like a three four or six 
which will probably be crucial. Also, that's such a big play is actually laying down to use these LMGs, uh, something that I forget to do a lot, but when you do it with the M249 or the DP, it really makes a difference. Just those things kind of become like a laser. Then we have a new item here. This has been teased, kind of interesting. This was teased, but basically announced so early by PUBG uh, in the trailers by people working at PUBG. Normally they keep this stuff kind of uh, a secret, but with season eight, I feel like they've been really going out and telling everybody what's to come and uh, giving some early leaks. Uh, so this is interesting, something that I'm a little hesitant on. Usually I'm all for every PUBG update, but this I'm a little hesitant on. And this is uh, a grenade that you will throw only available on Sanak, and it'll make fake firing sounds for about 10 seconds after thrown, giving you a few moments to make your move. That's what the words say there. And it's a new throwable, mimics gunshots, not available in ranked, of course. And the grenades can be reduced, cooked to reduce their detonation timeout on the hand and are thrown just like grenades. And there we go, just repeating all the information. It says, beware that they are not waterproof. Dropping one into the water will disable its effects. And they do not currently spawn in training mode. Uh, so the reason why I'm apprehensive about this is, well, let's talk about the positive first. So the positive is that this is a really great strategic weapon that say you see a team in front of you, right? And they don't see you, you, you need to get out of the blue. You know, you're going to get gate kept or, or there's going to be situations going to arise. That's not going to be in your favor. Uh, so you could throw a decoy grenade, say to the left, as far as you can and start running right. And that team will think that they can get a third party situation. Two teams are trying to come out of the blue. They're fighting. They might run left or their right. And then your team runs your to your right or their left, avoiding them completely. Right. So that's just one example I can think off the top of my head where this would be extremely beneficial and you've tricked the enemy team. Um, but in a game, in game theory, when you create all these things and and you have um, you know weapons and balances and traps and stuff like that, like other games have claymores where you set a claymore and then you you get uh, you can get out, take out an enemy who's sneaking around a building or you can protect yourself if you're camping. Um, but those sometimes provide like a poor gameplay experience for the people on the other side. And for me. If you're running around just hearing fake firing all the time, it's going to forever change the game of Sanak. Just kind of like the loot trucks have forever changed the map of, of Sanak, this will also have the same effect. It's kind of like the C4 has the 14 or 16 second, I forget off the top of my head, uh, detonator time. So you actually have a chance to get away from it. This, I feel like, doesn't really have a great counter around that. And uh, it could create some not fun or just like gimmicky gameplay experience. I think that's what I've been trying to say the whole time is that it could be a little gimmicky. And I wish I said that earlier, uh, but there's no going back now. Then we have uh, some gameplay changes, which this isn't really a gameplay change. This is just, they, they reskinned the weapons for the K9, the uh, M4 and the SKS. I mean, I don't think anybody can complain about this. Personally, I thought the M4 always looked like one of the best guns. It just was so well done. So if they made it even better then kudos to PUBG. K9 was a little boring, just like, it, it, I mean, it looked awesome, but didn't have a ton of detail on it. So that's great. And then the SKS probably needed some work. It wasn't the most uh, impressive looking gun when you were holding it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad they're doing that and probably checking out some other weapons that they want to improve upon. Uh, then we have care package update. So the C4 has been added to the care packages on all maps, except for Karkin, because the C4 is not on Karkin. The sticky bomb is there. And uh, I think this is a good move. So without talking about this forever, uh, the only downside is that a lot of good players end up getting the care packages. So a lot of good players are going to have C4, but because the C4 is so rare, I feel like this is a decent idea. And if it's too much, they can always, uh, you know, put it back. But to be honest with you guys, why I also think it's a good idea. I like that the C4 is rare because it's really exciting when you get it. Uh, then we have LMG balance adjustment. Like I said, they've added some uh, damage multiplier for the vehicles and they've reduced camera shake. So they say here, this is an interesting line. So they've said that there's been no changes made to the weapon recoil. However, players may feel like the weapon is more stable due to reduced camera shake. And if you, it's something you might not notice a lot when you're just playing PUBG, but if you're watching footage back or when I'm editing a video, it is really crazy how much the camera shakes when you're shooting a gun in PUBG. It's just one of those things that uh, I notice. I don't know about you guys, but when you watch someone else play PUBG, you really notice a lot more details like, oh, wow, that gun looks really cool or like, uh, the the bullet the muzzle flash uh, looks really realistic, but when you're playing the game, 
I'm not even looking at that stuff. I'm looking for enemies. I'm not looking at my own gun, right? You're just focused, laser focused. You're looking at a bush or like next to a tree. Uh, but when you're casually watching something play, you notice all of the great details that are in PUBG and, and how how great the game actually is in, in some aspects, right? Some things look terrible in PUBG. Some things like the weapons look incredible in my opinion. Oh, and then this thing, I'm like skipping over such a big change here. Uh, so this is really interesting. And I brought up another link here. So Erangel has had docs added to the map that we'll see in a week or two. Four docs have been added to Erangel. Two docs have been ex wow, excuse me. Two docs have been added to the existing wharves. One at uh, Novo and the other at Ferry Pier, my favorite spot. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. And then they said the southern beaches of Erangel, mainland, and so the military base, Sosnovka Island, also had docks added. So Ferry Pier, Novo, and then we have the south. Erangel mainland and South military base allegedly have docks. I don't know exactly where this is. I want to say this is the side of Novo, but I might be wrong off the top of my head. And what's interesting about this, so they're just docks, but let me go off full screen here. A while back, uh, PUBG dev, the Alex the PUBG dev, tweeted out uh, what is the best way to get from the military base to Pachinki and uh, any other options. And it's got a circle around here. It's got like, you got the car, you can walk. Uh, obviously you could glide. And then there's a, you know, you could take a boat, I guess, but you can't take a boat all the way from Pachinki. Uh, so this was kind of an interesting thing. And this made me think that maybe they were adding a ferry into the game, kind of like how the train now is an autonomous vehicle on Vikendi going around the map that maybe they could add a ferry that goes from Ferry Pier. That would make sense to the military base. That was my idea. I thought that'd be awesome. And if they're adding in four docks, I mean, maybe there's one going from Ferry Pier to the Southern Island, and there could be another ferry going from mainland like Milta to Nova uh, or military, I mean, Milta Power to Nova. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, but no talk about that added into the game. So maybe they're putting the docks and then maybe in the next update, they'll do that. Or maybe that's just a conspiracy and it's never coming. Who knows? Uh, but I, th I thought that would be pretty cool if PUBG added that. Next, we got uh, quality of life improvements for the throwable wheel menu uh, option. This is on PC, so I'm just going to skip over this. Uh, just a nice quality of life improvement to have more options on the wheel. Then this is something interesting that I wasn't expecting to see. Uh, PUBG dev Alex uh, made a post about this, but I didn't. I missed it at the time. And this is a feature that now when you watch your character, you will be able to disable the visual helmet so you can see what you're wearing on your character. So basically, you know, if you're wearing, say, the, well, use Alex as an example. Say you're using the Dino Alex costume and you have the green dinosaur hat on. Uh, when you put on a helmet, that goes away, right? Anytime you're wearing something on your head and you put on a helmet, that goes away. So with this, uh, I guess that item will still technically stay on your head. And then you can disable the helmet visuals so that only you see your character without the helmet and everyone else in PUBG land, we'll see the helmet. Um, so this has actually happened before as a visual glitch. And I think overall this is cool because you wanna be able to see what your character is wearing, especially if you're playing in TPP. But at the same time, from a spectator standpoint, it's gonna maybe confuse people that you're not wearing a helmet when you are. Um, so I, I, I like that they're doing this, more customization for the players. But if I had to choose, I think off the top of my head, if no pun intended, but kind of, um, I would say maybe don't not add this into the game because it might cause some confusion. But then again, a lot of streamers play in first person, so they're not even going to see it anyways. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you like this feature? Will you use this feature? And uh, yeah, I guess if you're not streaming, you probably won't. You probably just do it so you can see your character, right? Uh, we'll see how that plays out. Then some performance increases. Again, a lot of my friends have been texting me while I've been away that there has been some issues that the this update wasn't as smooth as the last one. Um, you know, we, I feel like season seven was pretty smooth and it made a pretty big comeback for PUBG after the bots. Um, but apparently, I don't know, I haven't played it, but this one hasn't been as great. We have the PCS is back. Uh, this is a whole video in itself potentially that I may or may not make, but this is coming back August 19th. So you can do the Pick'em Challenge. Make sure you guys, if you're interested, start checking out some of the games for the esports stuff. And then with this, they'll be adding in more PCS skins, which are always cool. And uh, you're probably aware of that with the last uh, PCS one, which was pretty recent. And then we have some more UI changes. They've added a new feature now where you can select all of the different menu music, which I think is great. I like always hearing the new music, even though I turn it off, but I would love to go back to the original launch theme, which was just epic uh, PUBG music. 
that's a great idea and hopefully they'll add maybe more of these to the radio and then some new information with matches three training mode is getting kind of an overhaul so you can uh get a better idea of where things are located and some new in-game ui improvements i'll probably skip over a lot of this stuff guys because this is probably already a, a decently long video so uh improved system messages emote setting improvement in-game ui store ui the store needs a huge ui um have they added in yet where you can remove multiple duplicates at one time or buy like 10 crates at one time? I don't know. I don't see that in here. But I'm shocked that that hasn't been added to the game yet. The friends list is getting a rework. And they're I think they were adding in that feature where you can uh, add people after a match. That might have already been added in 8.1. And then TDM is now available in custom matches. Pretty cool. Replay system. This is only on PC. And then we have some new skins coming to the game. Look, you can wear a nightclub dress and a bow tie and suspenders. Kind of like a tux, which I was just wearing uh, when I got married. Uh, a little bit different, though. And uh, there we go. And then this is the PC PCS2 outfit set. Looks like we got an SLR here. Um, is that a Mini 14? I can't really tell. And a buggy skin. And then uh, some pretty cool outfit stuff. So definitely be looking forward to trying to get some of that stuff. And then the gold and silver plated M4 skins are returning back to the game for a limited time only. And then a bunch of bug pay, bug fixes. Uh, I was saying bug and gameplay at the same time there. So there's a ton of gameplay fixes here. Uh, this is actually awesome that there's so many things being fixed. Uh, but one thing that I wanted to address really quickly, I'm not sure if this is only an issue on console because I saw PUBG uh, Twitter tweet that specifically towards console players, um, but I have to imagine it's probably happening on PC as well. But something I noticed before I left on the PTS on console was that for some reason, I don't know why, if it's gas can related, it seemed like it was, that occasionally all of my ammo and inventory would be missing um, at a certain point in the game. So like I would just be playing, I would pour gas, and I would just be missing all of my inventory. Or I would, I was flying a glider one time, I landed the glider, and then everything from my inventory was gone except for the gun that I was holding. So there's some kind of issue where you're dropping all of your ammo and or dropping all of your inventory. And I was saying this on the PTS, and I was like, hey, this is a huge issue. I mean, this is insane. And everyone was kind of, I felt like, was looking at me like I was crazy. And then when I went away, I kept hearing more and more reports of this. And I think they've, uh, you know, they've identified some of the issues, but I didn't see anything in the uh, bug fixes here. Maybe because this is a console-specific thing, and this will be added in in the console patch notes. Uh, but hopefully they've gotten this fixed because this is a major, major issue. Uh, we were just talking about it in Discord. You don't want to play the whole entire game uh, to make it to the top five and then have all of your inventory gone, and there's no way to win when you only have 30 rounds left. I mean, you maybe can still win, but you're probably screwed. So that's definitely not a fun bug uh, to happen in the game. Uh, to me, I'm always kind of uh, saying that I can get around small hitches and bugs um, that you know are kind of silly, like you're kind of skipping around or maybe a tree's floating out of the ground. But if it's something that messes with your time in the game, like you've played for 30 minutes and you notice you have no ammo and then you die, then you just wasted 30 minutes. And that to me is things that are unacceptable and hopefully can be fixed ASAP. Uh, so that's really it for the patch notes. Um, again, been a while since I've recorded a video or have played PUBG. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to secretly go play some pub and get ready for my first stream back tomorrow on YouTube as I hit my microphone. So I'm very excited about that. Hopefully I'll see you guys there, uh, right here on YouTube. Yeah. Tomorrow, Tuesday, August 11th. Uh, so thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out.